I want to turn now to some last minute drama in the Fox News defamation case. That trial was supposed to start today, but it has been delayed. And CNN watched as lawyers for Dominion Voting Systems brought more than 40 boxes into the courthouse today, most likely evidence and other materials. CNN's Oliver Darcy joins us now. He's outside the courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware. Oliver, what is happening? Some 11th hour, uh, 11th hour twist really uh, casting into question whether a trial, John, is even going to take place. Uh, right behind me uh, was where it's supposed to have started. Opening arguments were supposed to be taking place right about now. But last night, the judge abruptly delayed the trial, saying it's going to now start on Tuesday. And there's no reason given. The judge said today that he doesn't find it unusual for this to have been delayed for, by one day. But uh, Rupert Murdoch's Wall Street Journal, as well as some other outlets now, reporting that uh, a last-minute settlement might be in the works, that Fox might be pushing to settle this case, avert a trial, and really spare some of its high-profile talent and executives, like Rupert Murdoch, from having to take the stand and testify as to why they allowed election lies to be broadcast on Fox's air, despite knowing that they were not true. Now, both sides are still preparing for a trial. The judge said basically to be back tomorrow and a trial will start if a settlement is not reached. Dominion brought in about 40 boxes earlier of evidence into the courtroom. So they're clearly ready, John, to go to trial if a settlement is not reached. Right now, everything sort of seems just up in the air. Up in the air. That's, we'll see how the negotiations go behind closed doors. Oliver, keep us posted if anything changes. Let's bring in our senior legal analyst, Ellie Honig. Uh, good morning. There's good morning. so much on the table what here. What a twist. I know. What the if, plot thickens. What a twist. Why would a judge do this? Well, so if you go to a judge in either a criminal or civil case on the eve of trial and say, we're making close progressions towards a settlement or in a criminal case, this is not a criminal case, towards a guilty plea, often judges will say, okay, I'll give you a day, I'll give you two days, maybe I'll give you a week, I'll give you a chance to work it out. I think that's the most likely scenario we've seen reporting consistent with that as well. So you think there's, you think there's probably those talks somewhere going on? Yeah, there's something about being on the eve of trial that can really sober up both parties. It's a reality, right? Look, look at it from Fox's point of view. They're looking at the likelihood, if there's a trial, of having all of their, or many of their most prominent anchors have to take the stand testify and get cross-examined. So, and the owners and the and, big top executives. And the executives, and up to and including Rupert Murdoch. And so you can understand why they would be hit by reality at the last moment and say, we need to avoid this. And, you know, another question is, why would Dominion be interested in potentially settling this? Because as, as we've discussed, I think Dominion has a very strong case here for defamation. But the fact of the matter is, nothing's sure when it comes to a jury. There's always risk when it comes to a jury trial. A jury's just 12 human beings. You never know what they're going to do. Mm. So if, if there is a settlement, help us understand, because it's beyond how much money they settle for, which I think gets a disproportionate amount of attention. Yeah, but how much is a lot of dough? I, 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 under, <laughs> I understand that. I think also the company has a lot of money. What I think is fascinating, if there is a settlement, is does it come with an admission of guilt an apology right. or an admission of wrongdoing. So there's a couple things that are in play here if there's a negotiation. First of all, of course, there's the amount. Parties will go back and forth on that. Second of all, there's will this be confidential? Usually settlements like this are confidential. We don't know the numbers unless we get it through reporting, but we wouldn't know it officially. But the parties are free to negotiate. This number will or will not be confidential. And then the parties can negotiate for any sort of admission of guilt, statement, acknowledgement, retraction, et cetera. But keep in mind, the judge here has already made a finding, as a matter of law, that Fox's statements about the 2020 election and about Dominion were false. So that is on the record. The only question at trial was going to be, is there actual malice? Did Fox know, or were they reckless about the falsity? So no matter what, Dominion has that finding of falsity. Okay, so then $1.6 billion, you're right, it's a lot of money, but Fox has deep pockets, right? Yes. And, and their viewers will probably not believe you know, that they did anything wrong, that they were targeted, you know, so I'm, I'm not sure what it does to their credibility, right? right? Because it's kind of, you know, you well, know what I'm talking about. the facts are out there, right? We've all seen the text, they're all out there, and we have the finding from the judge about Okay, falsity. so then $1.6 billion, if they go to court and they win, are they likely to get that? And if they settle, how much money are we talking about? So I don't think there was any realistic chance of Dominion getting $1.6 billion in compensatory damages, meaning the amount we were damaged, the amount we have to be paid back to get us back to zero. The entire company, by its own valuation, is worth anywhere from 30 to $80 million, but that's not even 10% 
of 1.6 billion. Yes, okay. Dominion is worth it. So from Dominion's point of view, I think 1.6 billion dollars was always a very optimistic, optimistic ask. Now, keep in mind though, they could also get punitive damages. And so if Fox is looking at this, they're saying, okay, Dominion's asking for $1.6 billion to compensate them, but also punitive damages on top. So again, you can see the high-end risk that Fox would be running at a trial here. Yeah. Don't go on vacation this weekend. <laughs> no, right, and then Fox we'll see what also happens. apologizing to that judge for All right. not presenting. Well, they got in trouble with the, with the judge yeah, on a couple yeah. big issues last week that could incentivize them too. Thank you, Ellie. Thanks,